you know, our schools do a great job, large and small, uh, religious schools, independent schools, private schools, of many shapes and every color. The, uh, the beauty of this state and the beauty of the education system we have is we have this ability for all of our kids to have these wonderful educational opportunities. The Minnesota Independent School Forum has served independent schools since 1976. Its mission is to strengthen Minnesota's K-12 independent schools through advocacy and advancement. MISF believes each student deserves and needs to benefit from its programs, services, education, research, and public policy support. Although this is currently being done informally, MISF believes every school would serve its students and families better by formally connecting to the statewide collective network of independent schools MISF represents. A lot of our schools don't have all the resources and all of the advice and all the advisors and all the things that they need to do their work. They just work every day. MISF provides an annual two-day retreat for the leaders, heads, and administrators of its member schools. These retreats are designed to provide member school heads with the best, most current information to help them manage their schools in this world of constant change, new challenges, and ever-expanding technology. Whether K-8, K-12, high school, or school with a mix of other grades, MISF member school heads definitely benefit by attending. For me, in a small school, it has been a, a gift. Uh, not only are we in a beautiful Northwoods setting, but um, I'm surrounded by peers who have the same issues that I have. I'm making new relationships. We're talking. We do talk business, and we do also have fun. But um, so I feel very supported. Um, and the speakers and the vendors that are here just bring um, excellent tools and excellent insight to me as a, an administrator. MISF hosts quarterly professional development workshops for two distinct groups, admissions and marketing, and development. These workshops are created for member and non-member school administrators and staff. They provide an exclusive opportunity to meet together, learn from industry experts, share experiences, and tackle similar challenges. I'm very excited by what I'm learning at the MISF networking gatherings I've attended this spring. I've never seen such a truly collaborative group before. The MISF STEM program has three major components. An annual professional development teacher seminar, facilitated access to community resources in STEM education, and a mini grant program for member schools. The MISF is a major, major supporter, encourager, and partner for every school in our organization. And it provides an awful lot of support. It provides leadership training for the heads of every private and independent school in the state of Minnesota. It provides the STEM program. And as we are graduating more and more engineers every year in a world that needs engineers, and 3M, you guys have been great partners in that. We do are very grateful for that and, and very much appreciate that support. We have partnered with MISF since 2005, and the focus of that partnership is on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And our goal is to increase student achievement in those areas. And um, through the partnership with MISF, we're able to reach all the private schools that are MIS members across the state. And the projects that I'm seeing are more hands-on, more interactive, um, more about learning science through doing. And I think that um, they're projects that the kids are going to enjoy. St. Mark's School, Growing Stems of Creativity. The focus of this STEM initiative was to explore the three seasons of the school year, teaching students about dormancy, growing cycles, urban precipitation, and CO2 and O2 cycles. St. Croix Lutheran High School, Indoor Aquatic Ecosystem. Students identified and discovered the importance of biotic and abiotic factors in an aquatic ecosystem by developing an indoor pond. My name is Nita and I'm very excited to be here. This is my first year back into teaching full time with Tomatora St. Paul and I love this opportunity to get my brain rolling again and the excitement of seeing other professionals starting the year off together and I've been teaching for over 30 
many years, but part time. So this is a great way to start to interact with other professionals, to find resources that are available, and to know that we're not alone. The Science Museum of Minnesota is home to the Museum Science House, a resource center for educators, where Minnesota science teachers gain access to the best in hands-on classroom science materials, consult with science education experts, and discuss education issues in a relaxed and creative environment. Since 2008, MISF has served as the district for member private schools and has covered membership fees to enable MISF members to take advantage of this great resource. The Science House has an inventory of over $500,000 in hands-on materials for teachers and students. This has become a great resource for our member schools. MISF helps inform lawmakers, policymakers, and the general public about the contributions that independent education makes to our state and society. Relationships are built with donors to support targeted programs to enable member schools access to resources, connections, education, and expertise in critical disciplines. Together, MISF and its partners can make a difference. The future is the young people. and. Uh, we uh, invest in the future, and we, we wouldn't do what we, what we do for a living and working for our clients if we didn't have enthusiasm about the future. Through the annual Minnesota Private and Independent Education Awards Celebration, MISF honors the exceptional programs and schools in the state's private education community. Her nephew now is able to attend full days of school because of Lucia's efforts to ensure he received proper medical care. Lucia translates for her mother in all daily living transactions. She carries a 3.0 GPA and speaks three languages, English, Spanish, and Italian. Lucia plays the violin in the school orchestra and has been active in art club. In addition, she works 20 hours a week in order to help out at home. As she moves towards graduation, she hopes to become the first member of her immediate family to attend college. Despite hardships, she remains positive and upbeat and has a friendly smile or kind word for all. She is organized and has a wonderful work ethic. She has a strong determination to succeed and a gentle, easygoing manner with adults and peers alike. Lucia's family has made a tremendous financial sacrifice to send her to Holy Family Catholic High School, but they know the reward will be seeing her continue her education and becoming a role model for future generations in their family. Uh, I'm really honored to get this, and I think I owe it all to my mom because she's always been there for me and she always tells me to strive forward. 